Hey everybody, Flashy Collector here. I have $400 of customer wrapped rolls to hunt here, and uh, they're from two different banks. So these ones here are longer. They, they come in $20 in these rolls. Um, these are from a local credit union, and then the $10 rolls here, these are from a local bank. These T's, I believe that these are indicators for the local banks that a teller has verified these. Um, curious to see what we have here. Not sure. I've had some good luck at these um, at these banks, um, but we'll see. You never know. I'll bring you in if there's anything to show you. On the last roll of these longer $20, half dollar rolls, and I haven't found any silver, um, no varieties or anything, but we have our first find, NIFC 2020 from Philadelphia. Actually, this is my first 2020 that I've found coin roll hunting, so kind of interesting. NIFC on the board. First roll of the shorter rolls here have another NIFC 2018 from Philadelphia. All right, a quick recap. We had two NIFCs in that $400 search, 2018 from Philadelphia and a 2020 from Philadelphia. I'm gonna go back to a couple of my banks, see what I can find at some other banks, and uh, I'll bring you in for another hunt here. I'm gonna to try to keep this one going. I went to my banks to see what I could pick up from them. Um, and I asked specifically about halves and dollar coins. And um, I was able to score some half dollars and I was also able to score some large dollar coins. So here's what we've got. One bank gave me $170 worth of half dollars, customer wrapped. Um, another bank gave me $60 worth of customer wrapped half dollars. And uh, with these ones, there's a little bit of an issue that I noticed. So, um, so their halves, $10, they are labeled bank. Several of them are labeled bank. Um, they're all with this label, the, the Union National Bank of Pittsburgh. Um, this one's labeled bicentennial. So the rest of these are labeled bank. I'm wondering, maybe it's a collector that dumped off a, a roll of their bicentennials and a bunch of dump rolls here that were labeled as bank. I'm not sure. Who knows? They they might just, you know, have sorted them. Um, maybe, maybe it's a collection dump. I'm not too sure. Um, but I'm interested to see what's inside there. Um, this I'm really excited about. $67 worth of dollar coins, large dollar coins. So I've got three rolls of 20 and then I have about seven loose here. So I haven't really taken much of a peek inside. I don't know what's in there. I'm really excited to get cracking into this roll, into these rolls. So um, as usual, I'm gonna get started. I'll bring you in if I find anything. All right, we are going to crack into these dollar roll, these rolls of dollar coins. I am excited to check these out. So on top of the 60 in rolls, I also had I also had about seven, yeah, seven loose here. So curious to see what we've got. Got some that are really dirty. I don't think there's any sign of silver there though. Just really dirty. This one is pretty toasty, like it hasn't been stored properly. It's taken some damage. I do not believe that this is a silver one though. Um, I'm pretty sure that this is probably clad just a really dirty edge. I'm sorry, this one was a bicentennial. 
Um, this is a 77D. Not in bad shape. Uh, 72. It's a 72D. Um, this one's really chewed up. Another 72 from Denver. Another bicentennial. This is uh, both of these bicentennial here have um, they have the more delicate lettering. This is a 72, and whoa, that one's got quite a crazy tone. Can you see that? Kind of like this rainbow toning effect on it. Really crazy. Really cool looking. And another bicentennial with delicate lettering again. So I'm going to sort these out. I will um, keep. I'll, I'll keep an eye out for um, any oddities or varieties here, and um, I'll bring you in on the rolls if there's anything worth finding. Okay, roll one. And it looks like we have a lot of clad going on here. This one's got a pretty gnarly edge, but I think it's just toned. Yep, just toning. This one's got the rainbow toning too. Pretty wild. All right, I'll bring you in if I find anything cool. Quick wrap up on the Ikes. Um, no key finds here with silver. No silver found here. Uh, no proofs. But I am going to take a look at these for errors and varieties. There are some key varieties I'd be interested in checking out. I'll bring you back in on that if I do find anything. Um, here's everything stacked up, though. $67 worth of Ikes. Um, I do love Ikes. What's interesting is we have 71, 72, 4, 6, 7, and 78. So we have almost everything except 73s. Um, yeah, I'm uh, I'm interested in seeing if uh, maybe we can maybe we can pull out some cool varieties. But um, regardless, I love Ikes. Love hanging on to them. Um, I'm hoping to create some sets of Ikes eventually too. So um, it's always good to pick these up. All right, let's crack into some halves here. Let's start off with these uh, Pittsburgh wrappers here. Oh, is that silver or is that just deceiving? It is silver. First, Half dollar roll, and we have a 1968 from Denver. Hey, that's a good way to start off. And this one was labeled bank. I I was kind of dreading looking at these at these rolls, but now I'm excited. Let's go. Silver on the board. Roll two. Oh. -ho -ho. Get your sunglasses out. Look at that. Flash of silver. Let's get into these, see what we have. We have a blingin' 1968 from the Denver Mint. This one's beautiful. It has, it has some contact marks. A little bit of wear there on the face. But man, that is that is a pretty one. Another 68. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This one's gorgeous too. 1967. 
from Philadelphia. Oh, wow, that one is just, that one's gorgeous too. Really nice finish to it. All right. And then we had an ender in the customer wrap roll here. A 1966 from Philadelphia. Another beautiful one. This one's a little tarnished, but still looking really great. So that is two rolls, both with bank marked on them, and uh, we have four silver. I will take that ratio any day. Roll three, marked bank. Do you see it? Do you see it? We have more silver. More silver. We have a 1967 from Philadelphia. Look at the shine on that silver. A little worn, but hey, we will take it. Five silvers on the board. Okay, so I've thought long and hard about this. I have three rolls left. Two of them marked bank, one marked bicentennial. Let's look at the bicentennial because uh, I have a feeling it's full of bicentennial. And uh, I'd like to keep the mystery alive on the other bank rolls. But hey, you never know. Somebody could have recycled the wrapping. Somebody could have recycled the roll. But uh, pretty sure we're going to get all clad on this one. And yep, sure enough, all clad. And I believe they truly are all bicentennial. So no lie on that. Um, all bicentennial. We're going to move on. Roll four. Let's do a live roll. Let's see what we got here. I don't know. Is it? It is. Oh, I just thought it was dirty. A 1968 from the Denver Mint. This one's got some serious uh, tarnishing going on, it looks like. Um, another silver. We will take it. That makes it six on the board. Roll six. Mark Bank. Let's see what we've got inside here. Last roll of these. And oh my, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Do you see that? Do you see that? One, two, three, four. I think we have at least 10 silver in that roll. It was marked bank. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see what we've got. First up, a 1967 from Philadelphia. Next, a 1968 from the Denver Mint. Another bicentennial, bicentennial. Let's see here, another, oh, this one's gorgeous. A 1968 from Denver. And that one's beautiful. <laughs> right next to it, a 1967 from Philadelphia. Nineteen sixty nine from Denver. We are one away from filling the board, and we have done it. A nineteen sixty nine from Denver. We have filled the board with silver, and we're still going. Another sixty nine from Denver. This one's a little toasty, a little bit of tarnishing and toning. Edges are black, super dirty. The reverse is 
toned as well. A 1968 from Denver. A 65 from Philly. Another 68 from Denver. I can't believe this. We got a 74, and this one looks silver. Another 69 from Denver. Oh my goodness. So that would make it two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven silver in that last roll. So 17 silver, 40 percenters out of six rolls, customer wrapped. Five of them, really, five that were marked bank. They took it to the bank and we cashed in. Look at that. Flash of silver for you. Filled the board. Super excited to share this one with you. Okay, quick recap just to break that down for you on the customer wrapped rolls marked bank. We had from one from 1965, one from 66. We had four from 1967. We had seven from 1968, and we had four from 1969. So that makes it 17 silver found in five rolls marked bank. One was full of Bicentennial. It was marked Bicentennial. So I'm thinking this was a collection dump, a mini collection dump. Uh, super excited. I'm going to get into... Another set of rolls here, that $170 customer wrapped rolls, starting with roll one. Let's get cracking. Quick wrap up here. Nothing, no key finds really in the, in the Eisenhower's. I did find this tone 1972. Has some nice toning. Mostly on the obverse. and a toned bicentennial. But the best part of this hunt was that we found 17 silvers, filled the board in silvers in the banked rolls in the customer wrap bank rolls. Also, we didn't really find anything in these. But I'm still happy this is a successful hunt. One of my better silver scorers in a hunt, especially for customer wrap, this is the way to go. Um, seems like that's what that's what you really want. When the bank tells you We've got 60 bucks worth of half dollars and in customer wrapped rolls. Um, that's that's going to be a much better so, uh, situation than if you have like several hundred um, that are clearly um, probably going to be a dump from another hunter. So really excited about this. Thanks so much for checking this out. I think of these, the best one that I found was this 1968 from Denver. Just absolutely gorgeous. Really pleased, though, with the condition of a lot of these. I think it was a collection dump. So overall, this was a successful hunt. We searched $630 worth of halves. We also had a bonus hunt of some dollar coins, some large dollar coins here. For the large dollar coins, I didn't score them, but I did find two Ikes that um, were pretty common, but they had some cool toning. I found two NIFCs, and then we found 17. 40% Kennedys in rolls labeled to go to the bank. Can't be mad about that. What a great way to kick off 2022 on this channel. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing and click that bell icon for notifications when videos become available. Thanks so much. 
for stopping by. Happy hunting. Be good to each other. And I will see you in a flash.